Hello Java aspirants, this is Gaurav, an expert Java trainer. As per high demand from many people, I am commencing the Java discussion from scratch. Let's keep Java Virtual Machine topic on the table today for discussion. So what is Java Virtual Machine? JVM is the heart of entire Java program execution process. It is responsible for taking the dot class file and converting each bytecode instruction into machine language instructions that can be executed by the microprocessor. First of all, dot Java program is converted into a dot class file consisting of bytecode instructions by the Java compiler. Remember, this Java compiler is outside the JVM. Now, this dot class file is given to the JVM. In JVM, there is a module or we can say program called class loader subsystem which perform the following function. First of all, it loads the dot class file in memory. Then it verifies whether all bytecode instructions are proper or not. If it is not proper, the execution is rejected immediately. If bytecode instructions are proper, then it allocates necessary memory to execute the program. This memory is divided into five parts called runtime data area, which contains the data and result while running the program. First is method area. It is a memory block which store the class code, code of the variable and the code of the methods in Java program. Heap. This is the area where objects are created. Whenever JVM loads a class, method and heap areas are immediately created in it. Java stack. Method code is stored in methods, but while running a method, it needs some more memory to store the data and result. So, Java stack are memory area where Java methods are executed. JVM uses separate threads or process to execute each method. PC, program counter registers. These are the register memory area which contain memory address of the instructions of the method. If there are three methods, three PC register will be used to track the instructions of the methods. Next is native method stack. Native methods are executed on native method stack. To execute the native method, native libraries are required and these libraries are located and connected to JVM by a program called native method interface. Now, this execution engine contains interpreter and JIT, just-in-time compiler which are responsible for converting the bytecode instructions into machine code. So that process will execute them. Most of the JVM implementation uses both the interpreter and JIT compiler simultaneously to converting the bytecode. This technique is called adaptive optimizer. So this is all about Java virtual machine. Thank you for watching my video. Please keep watching my more videos to learn Java in an easy way. You can send me an email for any query to my ID go for elearning at gmail.com. Thank you.